What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, some more sweet modern action. This deck, this deck is brought to us by none other than Cyborg Yui. Do you think LASIK is constructed playable? I, I've been having good results with it in uh, in standard, in my standard life. So uh, I would recommend. No, no issues thus far. Uh, how do I wake him up? I don't know. I've been asking myself this for, for years now. <clears throat> Be a time before, or after 4 p.m., I guess. That's the, the easiest way to wake him up, I think. Um, so we're gonna play this, this Gitrog monster deck. Uh, so we have Gitrog monsters, we have Tatiova. So lots of, uh, when a land enters the battlefield effects, we have two Azusas, and one, two, three, four Ramunath Excavators, a retreat to Kazendu, um, I'm trying to figure out the the applications of this. Could just be life. Counters could be relevant on. No, not really relevant on you. For the first time, I'm good to see that I got here before Mike. Not that it is a great accomplishment, but you know, it's a little. Th it is the little things. It is the little things. And then we have Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Utopia Sprawls, and Fatal Pushes. I don't know. This deck's pretty straightforward. I'm actually looking forward to it because I think Gitrog Monster is super sweet. So, let's see how it goes. And uh, Cyborg UE affectionately named this deck uh, Heartless Hypnotoad. Alright, here we go. Yes. Um. Okay. You know what? I'm game. I'm game. <laughs> Meet me at the corner tomorrow night. How do you wake him up? Just crawl into bed with him and start cuddling. But he jumps in now. He doesn't. He'd probably still sleep. And also, that's not very enjoyable for anybody involved. So. Oh, I see. I see. I wonder if we're fast enough to beat this burn deck. I guess we have our one retreat to Gazandu. Can we draw that? That'd be that'd be great. I want to draw the one retreat to Gazandu. Is it quiet? I feel like there's... I feel like I should have some music playing or something, but I don't think it's easy to... It's not really a... Okay, we can kill this guy pretty easily. I was actually tempted to put Arena on the background, yeah, just for the birds and the bells. Is that, not, is that an option? I don't know. So, wait, why do they have two land tap? They played this. Oh, they suspended Rift Bolt. Okay. Breeding pool. Yeah, we're obviously getting a breeding pool. Huh. Well, isn't that a saucy little gentleman? I'm just going to play this now. If they want to Rift Bolt this guy, it should be fine. I, I don't really see an issue with that. I didn't know a Pokey Flute was a thing. Oh, look, they did kill it. And they lava spiked us. Alright, we're at 10. 
Yep, you can come into play tapped. We're literally just doing nothing. We're just hoping they don't draw enough burn to kill us. This is literally our life right now. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? Actually, I guess we can just play Gitrog Monster here, right? Like, that's probably a better... I don't know how they'd beat that. I mean, I guess they could go, like, Burn Spell, Burn Spell, but it has to target this guy. Okay, they didn't have those things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, hmm. Hmm. I don't want to do that. We're definitely playing two lands here, right? Oh, let's go to the draw step. We haven't even drawn a card yet. Eh, that's not great. God, I got all excited. I thought we were going to have a good one. We could actually ghost quarter one of our own lands. That's pretty gas, right? Just draw two. Don't be a Heartless Summoning. Don't be the third Heartless Summoning. Oh, Wayward Sortooth? Uh, I don't think you're actually a dude, are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Card. Garg. Um, let's put a... Sp oh, I forgot about that guy. All right, let's... Oh, that's unfortunate. We have mistakes are made. This is where they go snap this off. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Oh god, is this really happening? I feel like we put so much time into it. Here's one. One down. Yep, here we go. Oh my god. I mean, there's not really a way around. Even if we Maelstrom Pulse to kill this guy, like, we'd still be dead. Like, it means we just can't play anything for the rest of the game. Magic's a cool game. Remember that time that we had uh, all those things and they didn't do anything? If I could hit one land, I'd actually keep this, because we can still play a bunch of things. I can't keep it, though, otherwise. Yeah, this is not as good, but I'm okay with it, I guess. <laughs> it's, 
It's okay, guys. They have three bolts in hand. They're just going to kill me like this. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I will keep this hand. Oh, let's keep Tireless Tracker on top. That's okay. Light up the stage. Whoa, aggressive. Don't care about Rift Bolt. I can kill the Swift Spear. I think we just take the light up the stage. Like, they can only hit Fatal Push with uh, Brutality, and we can actually get rid of the Fatal Push before they actually have Brutality mana, so... Cliffs into Swift Spear, sure. Alright, so you played Mire. And then you bumped me into the night. They did take so much damage, that's true. They're like, oh man, I gotta take six for this. It was really it was really a shame. Wow, skewer the critics. Sure. Kill this idiot. I actually don't even want to play Tireless Tracker here because we don't get anything out of it. Okay, so your hand is pretty boring. Collective Brutality and Bloodstained Mire. You can't take either one of these. Yeah, Mono Red seems good, but not fun. So you have Bloodstain. Okay, so you have no cards in hand. Sounds good. We are at six. <sighs> Crying out loud. Okay, I do feel like you want more things to combat Burn. Burn seems pretty prominent right now. I feel like I face Burn in every single modern, modern uh, event, a modern, modern, modern run that I've played. Hmm. Uh, we're just going to play this and then play this guy, because next turn we can play this guy. Should have attacked first, but we're not we're not that great at magic. Like, I'm just, I'm not even focused on dealing one extra point of damage here. I'm just trying to focus on doing things quickly. And, uh, unfortunately, there's no real excuse that we should have just dealt one more point. But if it comes down to us losing when they're at one, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. If it comes down to them losing at one, then I'll, I'll deal with that. I don't even drink coffee, so probably not. I have probably not had mine. There's so many cards in their deck that just kill us on the spot. It's pretty comical. Magic is a hard game. Well, Remy Napa Ruins is pretty good.
think we just have to get rid of the ghost quarter, which is unfortunate because I really want to ghost quarter the Remy Map Ruins. We do get rid of a bump in the night, though. I guess that counts for something, right? If we hit another land, we can actually draw another card, which is nice. Are we actually not dead? I think we might actually not be dead. Like, they have to, they get one card, right? So. They can activate... Oh, they have the Rift Bolt suspended. Okay, so... No, they're still not dead. I didn't actually see the Rift Bolt. I, God, I hate how hidden that is. I feel like if they suspend something, it should pop out. Because, like, you should... Okay, we're just dead to whatever they draw here. No way around this. Wow. <laughs> slow roll the light yeah, oh, I'm gonna well, let me see how long it can take me to cast this lava spike okay whatever you want to do buddy you won you won all right so um I hmm, um hmm I don't think Azus is great here like I feel like you don't have that many lands to cast like this is a deck that has like 27 28 lands um, the number of games where on turn three I had a bunch of lands left in my hand is pretty low. I guess if you're playing them from the graveyard, it's actually, eh, I guess that's better. I just, it feels too cute. I'm not sure. I almost like Inquisition a lot better than Thoughtseize here. I think Thoughtseize should be in the sideboard though, for sure. I'm gonna put another Fatal Push. I don't think Dismember should be the default. I think Fatal Pushes are fine. I do like the Maelstrom Pulse. I like another Maelstrom Pulse here. Damnation's fine. I don't care about Liliana, to be honest. I don't think she's great. I would rather have some life gain for the sideboard. Also, with Abrupt Decay and Maelstrom Pulse, I don't think you need Nature's Claim. I think you're already doing that with multiple other cards. I'd rather have, like, Feed the Clan. I don't have Ferocious, though, so maybe it's not. Actually, with Gitrog Monster, you might have Feed the Clan. Both of these do still enable Feed the Clan. Hmm. Also, 5 life is 5 life. Is there a better card that feed the clan? Maybe like Kitchen Finks? The Rag Tusk, I worry about being too expensive, but maybe not. I mean, five mana, like, I'd rather have the, the two mana. It's really hard to play, like, because if you get to turn five and play the Rag Tusk, they can always skull crack in response. Whereas the problem is like with feed the clan, you can actually respond when they're tapped out to gain five or gain 10. Let's try feed the clans. Let's try two feed the clans for now. Also, Wayward, Wayward Sword Tooth seems a little bit ambitious. There's a certain things in the deck that seem ambitious, like, like that are going to go right in a perfect situation. And I'm not sure how common that will be. I'm not a big Brutality fan, but I can see why we'd bring it in. Thanks isn't great with heart to something, but you still get the you still get the life. (sighs) 
I like this hand. It's a turn three Gitrog monster, which is pretty sweet. Ideally, in a perfect world. Basic island, huh? Okay. Okay. I understand. Let's see what's happening right now. What's my favorite modern deck? I actually don't know. Maybe it might be turns, it might be black white control. Might be blue black blue black control as well. Huh. Well, you had me at Cryptolith right, Cryptolith right. Let's get our breeding pool. I like just being able to play Verdant Catacombs. We, we've had this Urborg a good amount of times. <laughs> we got the Gitrog monster versus the Crypto with the right decks. Yeah, we got the Shadows of Innistrad mirror match. Or the regular, just the Innistrad block mirror match. Access denied. Yeah, we'll do blue black control tomorrow then. That seems fine. Um, I'm going to play this, and then we're just going to play Gitrog. Oh, wait, we can play another land. Don't be stupid. Oh, my God, I always forget that. It's okay. We'll get two next turn, unless they kill it. In which case, it's really sad. Oh, I see what's happening. You're just being cute. Swamp, we can just sacrifice the swamp pretty easily. I like it. I don't like that they're legendary, but you know, what are you gonna do? Let's get rid of this idiot. And we'll play Bajukabog. Can't get it back. And we'll play Misty Rainforest. And we will crack a Misty Rainforest. Wayward Sword Tooths. Let's just get. I don't think it matters. I'm just going to overrun Tomb. Oh my god. Two, oh god, I'm sorry. I miss playing like crazy. I keep freaking heartless summoning. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. So now our head's in the game. Let's get our head in the game here. Wayward Sword Tooth costs one because of Heartless Summoning. I totally forgot about that. Alright, next time we're gonna add like four lands to the board. Yep, that is fine. Do I do anything in response to this? No, I guess not. We'll just get rid of uh, Bajukabog for obvious reasons. It is the weakest link. Okay. Oh, wow. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas here, ladies and gentlemen. One. This guy. This guy. This guy. 
How many extra lands do we get now? Like three? 3,000 extra lands? That's it? Just like four extra lands? Okay. NBD. Okay, I don't think we're playing another cities or another uh, heartless summoning here. I will be drawing cards though. Tireless Tracker is good. Let's use that. That's what we want. See if you have anything degenerate that you would like to use against us. They're like, this is what said, I'm scoop. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's what we thought. All right, we're gonna bring an abrupt decay for sure. Uh, I don't think I care about Utopia Sprawl, to be quite honest. I don't think their deck is super fast, and I'd much rather have things that interact. The Torment of Hailfire seems just cute. I don't think you need it when you're going off. Oh my god, I forgot about the tracker again. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. I keep looking at the cat. I'm like, we got three mana. No big deal. Okay. <sighs> really need to learn hardness summoning. Magic is hard. Definitely not on my game. I feel like Heartless Summoning does very similar things to Utopia Sprawl, and Utopia Sprawl having to have a uh, forest in order to to use is pretty rough. Yeah, this hand's pretty okay. I'll keep it. Thornwood Falls. Fascinating. Cryptolithrite, Biomancer's Familiar. Oh, interesting. What's happening here? I'll take the Eldritch Evolution. That seems like the scariest card. So, Island Familiar. So next we can go Tracker, Sword Tooth, Extra Land. Seems good. Okay, so we know you draw that. We know two of the next another familiar. No, a red mana. Okay, you just mistapped. Got it. Maelstrom Pulse? Oh, dang. Let's go Tracker. It's untapped land. It's a Sword Tooth. It's a Ghost Quarter. Let's crack this. Okay. Well, still, still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still a decent turn. Still a decent turn. I'm okay with it so far. Seems good. Well, 
It's nice that we have this. Okay. So we can go land, city's blessing. Sword Tooth, take two, crack this, land, and then attack for a million. Yep, that guy is fine. No Urborg this game, which is surprising. That's a lot of clues we have here, guys. Artless summoning is no joke, man. Wow. Oh my god, why didn't you text me? <laughs> well, you see... That's nice. Kind of hits, trying to hit some lands here. Oh, Fatal Push and Heartland and Abrupt Decay? No, we're definitely killing this thing. This is a 7 6. I think you're dead here. Wayward Sorthus and Tireless Trackers really seem like the ways to go off in this deck. It's very, very nice. Thank you. Rogue Optic, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Six months of best friendship, the best of friendship. Why do we have three heartless summonings? That seems wrong, right? If you want more ways to go, I think we're just. I think this deck wants four heartless summonings. I don't know if I even like Utopia Sprawl. I think I'd rather just have like Collective Brutality in the in the main. What if we had like two Collective Brutalities? And got rid of these. I think they're just too limiting. Like your ways of playing them in turn one. I guess there's a good amount. I'm not thrilled about it. Yeah, there's definitely a good amount. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like 15 ways to do it on turn one. Yeah, that's definitely a lot. It's definitely a lot. LaFof, what's going on, buddy? Oh, by the way, I don't think how was last night. It was definitely better than Anthony's coal-fired pizza that we had when I got off the plane. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I would not want your hungry house experience to be anything less than, than, than chef's kiss, my friend. I also like Wayward Swordtooth. I feel like Wayward Swordtooth is also like MVP in this deck. Retreat to Kazandu is cute, but like I don't think it's doing much. I think you want the combo pieces like the most. You want Gitrog Monster, you want Remy Nap Excavator, Wayward Swordtooth, and um, even Tireless Tracker was doing a lot of work. I'm going to take the Retreat out. Like you want to maximize the number of creatures that can take advantage of this. My favorite. I know, buddy. That's why I'm. That's why we're doing this. Um. Hmm. I mean, getting the three is pretty nice, though. I don't hate Torment of Hailfire. 
Rogue Optic, have a good have a good apartment cleaning, buddy. Appreciate the uh, the resub and the visit. I could see putting like three retreats in the sideboard for like the like getting two life a turn is actually pretty decent. I also feel like we kind of want a 25th land, to be honest. Like, you're doing a lot of things with lands here. I'm going to add a 25th land. we got three Overgrowns. I'm going to add another Urborg. Having Urborg is nice because it turns your it turns all your things into better things, I think. Is there another utility land that we want? Maybe like a Field of Ruin? <sighs> Maybe I like Utopia Sprawl. Oh, Infinity, I didn't even think you got the Power Clipper badge. That's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know that existed. I didn't know that was a real thing. And here we are. I like Tatiova. Like, is it worth... Is it worth the blue splash for just these two is my question. I'm not sure. I'll get you everyone my ADK. Yeah. Wall of ice cream. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Totally understand. Like, you can actually take out the island, and you can take out the breeding pool. Cancer is more important than magic online. I agree with you. The answer is no. Oh, man. They're engine cards, but so are these. So is everything else. Like, we have a lot of engine cards. I'm going to I'm gonna do it. We're going we're gonna to cut the blue here. Because it also gives us two more slots. Also, the thing I don't like about Utopia Sprawl is that it doesn't actually... I think we actually want Search for Tomorrow instead. Because we're not, like, untapping the land. I guess it doesn't ramp you to three, though, is the problem. It doesn't go. It doesn't let you go from one to three. We'd have to add more more lands here. So we can actually add, we'll add one more overgrown and just one more basic forest. For now. It actually could be a collected company deck. Like we have like 13 uh, three drops. Uh any Titans worth adding? We only I mean the, the only Titans you can have are uh Grave Titan and Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan could be decent. The, the problem, we're not trying to fix land. We're trying to go from one to three because we have infinite three drops. And Utopia Sprawl is like one of the few cards that does that that interacts favorably with Heartless Summoning. I think we might just have to go back to Sprawl here. So I'm actually a bigger Surgical Extraction fan than I am Leyline fan. And this is weird because Rob put me on on Surgical Extractions. I was not a big Surgical Extraction fan up until Rob was like, this card's real good. And I started trying it. I'm like, it actually is pretty good. All right, let's give this a... Let's give this a go. Yeah, I think this hand's actually great, aside from the Torment of Hailfire. This is a card, like, this is a weird card. So so a lot of times when you're when you're making decks like this or when you're tweaking things, you want to feel things out, right? And the feeling I get from this card is that, like, I don't want it in my opening hand. I may never want to draw it, but sometimes when I draw it, it could be good. And that kind of gives me a bad feeling about it. Like, if this was a Collector Brutality, I'd feel a lot better about it. Man, this is the second time I played against this deck. Interesting. I think we're just taking the champion here. That guy's the most threatening at this juncture. This red white humans deck with handwire garrisons. The school I work for let out early, just so I could do, go, go home and watch Frank. Yeah, that's probably why.
Oh, oh, we have to take Thalia's Lieutenant. That's gas. We have nothing else to do this turn. Dismiss this. And then you're like, but teacher, that's every day. Thalia's a Lieutenant. What do you got? Gisela? Oh, man, this meld deck. What is even going on? This is the second time I've seen this meld deck. If we can draw a a fetch land next turn, it'd be nice, because then we can go fetch land, crack it, ramming up executor, and have a card in the graveyard to really get back. Scrabbling with the gods? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now? Also, fetch land next turn would be great because now we can tireless tracker, get two clues, play the fetch land the turn after that. So we know they have Cavern, Hannison, Harrison, Hanwire Garrison. Okay, Mr. Garrison. Is this a Mr. Garrison or is this Mr. Oh no, Mr. Garrison sounds more like this. Okay. Who's this guy then? Okay. Okay, go do little some kids. Okay. Who is that? Mr. What's his name? Mr. Mackey, there you go, thank you. Wow, three different spellings of Mr. Mackey in the chat. M-A-C-K-I-E, M-A-C-K-E-Y, M-A-C-K-E. That's amazing. Wow. And representations, two representations of each one. Two spellings of M-A-C-K-I-E, two representations of M-A-C-K-E-Y, and two representations of M-A-C-K-E. That's actually mind-blowing. That's hilarious. Literally spelled three different ways, and exactly two people spelled it each way. That's phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I should have refilled my drink before I got here, but... Well, yeah, 66% of you are going to be wrong in that situation. Only two of you are going to be right, so. Oh, Utopia Sprawl, okay. I'm just going to put it on here, okay. What color are we naming? Probably black. I guess they just play Gisela next turn. That might be worse. But this guy making it... This is a 2-3 and it makes 1-1s one every single turn. I don't know. That doesn't seem good to me. I do like this Cavern of Souls art, though. It's very nice. I wish I had some lands in my graveyard, okay? We can, we can, do, we can do Mr. Mackey all day. All day. Always watching. I would have... Why not Gisela there? That's fascinating. Machi Scallon. That's not that's not even close to how you spell his name, but you know, I appreciate the effort. Wow, this guy sucks because we have no extra lands. See, like this card just doesn't do anything. I'd just rather it have I'd rather be like a removal spell or like a collector brutality or something. Where are my lands at? See, this is my problem with the lands. Like that's why you want like 25, 26 lands, because you want to be able to actually all of your cards need lands. To truly function. So I'm going to drop this guy. So we have 25 lands. How many are fetches? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We probably just want another fetch instead of... We probably just want another Misty. 
I think we also want... I don't know. Do we like Field of Ruin better than... I don't know. It is technically removal. Yes, well... I mean, if they're at less than three life, it's removal, I think. But up until that point, I think it's pretty much a lightning bolt to the face. This is problematic. Where are my lands at? I just want a big... I just want a dearth of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like this is going to slowly take over the game. And by slowly, I mean quickly. Mm, don't do drugs, kids. Okay. Mm, drugs are bad, you see. Okay. All right, so we have like two turns to draw fatal push and a way to crack the fatal push. No bueno. No. Not one single bueno was had today. This is rough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is going to be 9. We're still 1 away. Man, first strike and vigilance. That's a hell of a drug. Yeah, we have no attacks. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I don't feel like there's anything we could realistically draw after this attack that's going to keep us alive. I was correct. Okay, so, again, don't love you, Toby Sprawl. Bring in these guys. Take out the Torment. Uh, bring in Collector Brutality. Bring in Maelstrom Pulse. Even bring in Damnation. I think that's actually pretty good. I kind of like Corsair. I could see doing like a 2-2 split with Corsair and Excavator. I actually think Corsair Excavator 2-2 split's probably better. I don't think you always want Excavator, and I think you're pretty much fine with Corsair a good amount of the time. We have 25 lands. Like, that's more than most modern decks. I don't know why. Why is this happening to us? Wow. All right. You know what? We'll keep it. Have we played a frog? Yeah, in the first two games. Both, both of the first two games we played frogs. Hold on, someone just posted something on my wall and it was clearly spam. That's a yikes for me, dog. If we draw green, we can go get Trog Monster. That could actually get us back in this game. Eh, that's not it. That is not it. All right. We could ghost quarter on land to play like a sword tooth, but then we don't have a second green, and so it's just just putting on. The old 25 lands, mull to 5, draw 2 lands. A classic.
Yeah, that card's actually pretty obnoxious. Surprisingly so. It's not the it's not the color we're looking for here. It's not the color we're looking for here. Now we're in a position where we can actually kill one of our lands, play Sword Tooth. One, two. Crack. Yeah, let's do that. You know what? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Deal. We're doing it. We're doing it. Gisela. Baneslayer. Lyra. Yep, that's a good one. Whoo! Butter my biscuits. This is actually great because we can go land. If there's not another land, we can draw a card. There'll be peace when you are gone. Well, that's unfortunate, but we still get to play another tireless tracker, so I think we're doing all right. 6-6 six, six, Flying Vigilance. Vigilance is really relevant. I don't know if you guys knew that. We're really looking for, like, one of two cards that can actually stop this. I'd actually, well, like, a 6-6 six, six Flying Vigilant Lyra is uh, pretty much terrible. Well, that doesn't do anything on the board. What does Revolt Push do? Why do we need Revolt again? Do you guys... Is there a, is there a reason we want Revolt here? I'm not sure I understand what's... <laughs> For Giselle, that's not available? Alright, well, I mean, that's a thing. That's pretty rough. Um, I guess we can. We have like a turn, right? Like, God, the vigilance though. That vigilance though. Not Bahama. What's going on? Alright, so actually Gitchrog Monster next turn should be pretty decent. If there's a land on top, it's even better. If there's two lands on top, my god. Can you imagine? Yep, that's fine. They have one card in hand. We're going to kill both of these Stallions Lieutenants. And we go to eight, then we go to two. So we have like... We have turns. 
Yep, that's pretty good. You gotta put one counter on here, right? Yes, you do. Well, we have one turn now. All right. I'm actually amazed that we have no answer for this. I guess we can actually hit a land here, right? I mean, there has to be a land underneath the Gitrog monster. And then underneath, no, underneath the Gitrog monster. <sighs> there was not, there was not a land there. Any land, and we could get an 8 8. No, I have not tried Vanifar in, Mod in Modern yet. Vanifar. Any land. Yep, that's game. One thing has reach, right? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm still. All right, we're still making some changes. I still don't like torments here. Uh, I still don't love Utopia Sprawl. I think these should just be more lands. Like, I think I'd rather just cut these, add more lands. I want to maximize all of the fetches. Add like a field of ruin. I think we can go two field, two ghost quarters. I think that's fine. I think you do want a bunch of lands. Uh, I like two coursers in the main because they give you a different way to have. I'll cut one Ramunath Excavator, I think. Uh, I do like just. I like Assassin's Trophy just in the deck. Like, I think that's just good to have in the deck as like a two of. And then we get one more card. Probably like another Thought Seize. I put one Thought Seize in the main. I think this actually gives us a lot of things to work with. Like, Tireless Tracker is a great kind of. Oh, wow. You really are going to do me like this? You're going to put two foils in one non foil when I have three foils? That's unbelievable. Okay, so sideboard, we got two of these. I think that's good. We could add one more damnation. I think that's actually fine for matches like the ones we just played. Uh, another brutality seems fine. Maybe just another surgical. We have four. Yeah, let's try like this. Dang it, we missed. Dang it. I don't love this hand, but I'll keep it. Oh, this is a pre-Assassin's Trophy list. That's interesting to know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well then. Oh, Damping Sphere. Damping Sphere is actually a great card to bring in. Yeah, I'm just going to play this and get an overgrown tomb here. We just literally did. We just put two trophies in the list. Sanctum of Ugin. Okay. Tron is not a cool deck. No one thinks that. Sure. You got it, dude. Relic of Progenus is actually surprisingly effective here. Well, you're not that close to assembling Tron here, so...
Tron itself actually is a pretty decent matchup for Assassin's Trophies. I actually agree with that. I don't know if that was sarcastic or not. I don't know why it would be. Wow, Walking Blister for one? Fascinating. So if we do it now, they can't actually use the mana, where if we do it during their draw step, they can actually tap the one, tap the other three, put a counter on this. But I think that's actually fine. I think the odds of them drawing, which is minuscule, one in 50. Uh, interesting. Oh, they probably think we have like Tarmogoyf or something, which is fine. They did not do what I expected them to do. Let's see if you want to spend your turn pumping this guy. Yeah, considering the size of my collection on MTG, I would definitely not appreciate it if they just went to exclusively MTGA. That would be kind of garbage for the people who have, yep, all right, who have invested significant amounts of money and time into the product. Oh, wow, gems. I hope we got $10,000 in gems. <laughs> I'll be playing this game forever. Well, they are one lander. They are one... Fucking of course. Oh! <laughs> oh, top deck, top deck, top deck. Indestructible, huh? Cool. Why would it be Sundering Tight when they have Ulamog in hand? And Surgical Extractions and Thoughtseize. And Fatal Pushes can come out. Don't care about these other cards. It's just the world we're living in, guys. It's Tron's world. We're just living in it. Okay, let's try this again. Once more with feeling. Two Inquisitions. I don't hate it, but like, there's nothing else this hand is actually. Actually, you get Trog Monster is good. I'll keep it. But Jukabog is kind of awkward, but. I think we're going to go uh, turn one Inquisition, turn two Inquisition, but Jukabog. Two stars, huh? Well, it doesn't stop anything. Because next turn you can still play a star. And you have one power plant, and that's the only Tron land you have. Okay. Sphere and power plant. All right, well. You top pick Ancient Stirrings? Did you have it last turn? Am I going to feel bad for not inquisitioning you? 
Eh, okay. Well, if they hit something with... Oh, nothing. They hit nothing. So we can actually go... Heartless summoning into one of these two. We don't have a second land, though, so I don't think it's super worth it. So I think we're just going to go land, untapped, Inquisition, just to make sure you don't have anything. Oh, you have Sylvan Scrying. And Nature's Claim. We have a second power plant in hand, which we don't care about. I don't actually think we care about the Nature... I don't think we care about the Sylvan Scrying here as much as the Nature's Claim, because we don't want our Heartless Summoning to get destroyed. Because being able to play... Both of these, any one of these combination, any two of these is pretty good. If we can go ramming up Excavator into Misty Rainforest into Gitrog Monster. Okay, so I have no idea. You just played your second power plant, which is great, and Sylvan Scrying, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so what we can do is go Sword Tooth into the land excavator into other lands so we're gonna have five lands total so this is gonna cost three four five we can actually do it all here can't we Yeah, that was pretty good. We got the fetch right now. What are you talking about? Get your life together. Come on, Ben. Get it together. Okay, well, that's good. Your draws are your draws are solid. But you didn't play one. Horizon Kenobi. Do you want to tap anything? I don't think so. We don't have any activated abilities that we want to use here, so we'll just get rid of that. Ghost Quarter seems good. I'm going to get rid of Ulamog. I mean, you're more... One, two, three. You're, you're closer to casting the Worm Coil, but like actually are you you have double tower and a mine you could play a tower there like you can't play two lands right so we're gonna get rid of the worm coil we could have actually oh next turn we can just double ghost quarter too can't we that's pretty good I guess we can do that this turn, can't we? Okay, this should be game. <laughs> this seems good. Uh, all right, so we're going to go one, two, three, Azusa, Ghost Quarter, get rid of this. Yep, that'll do it. All right, wow. Azusa plus Ghost Quarter plus Surgical plus Ramunap Excavator is pretty decent. D, says the kids say. Do they say that? I don't know. My YouTube just playlisted itself into one of your videos and my brain got real confused. It was like, wow, that's actually a lot of a lot of me. Azusa doesn't cost three; she costs one. One thing you'll notice about this uh, entire in this entire video uh, is that I don't know how Heartless Summoning works, and I've played a lot of Heartless Summoning in the past. Not Bahama. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, huh? Well, all right. <laughs> oh, I like this hand. If we can replace one Surgical and one and one Azusa with two lands, I would keep this hand. 
Yep, okay, 26 lands in the deck. This is two hands with zero lands. You know what? Sure. You got it. I'm a simple man. I see a ghost quarter and a heartless summoning. I keep. Two heartless summonings. Having a good time, everybody. Having a good time. I was doing an RITTF onto this. I was doing. I dropped everything I was doing and 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 rat TF onto this. I have no idea what you're saying right now. What's the rat? What's the rat part mean? Oh, ran, ran. That's a word. Ran. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. I got the, I got the TF part. I got you. Like my beard is doing this weird thing. I don't like it right now. It's really, I need to like trim here. I don't know. It's making me uncomfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go trim during the break. Okay. This is actually busted. Holy crap. Oh my god, we just got the lock, dude. <laughs> the lock. Are you out of lands, my dude? <laughs> Multi five. Oh, turns out all you need is one ghost coder, a Remyab excavator, and a Zusa. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Thanks for playing, Tron guy. Thanks for playing. <laughs> oh, good times. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, Tron. Suck it. Absolutely suck it. Hmm. Yeah, it turns out when you're just going to lose all three lands a turn, I guess you can't really keep up, huh, Tron? That's too bad. That's too bad, Tron. I feel really sorry for you. Not. Apparently, I've been watching you stream too often around my phone. I now get hungry Howie's ads on my Facebook for the one location that exists in Vegas that I had no idea was even here. They should give you a cut of their profits. That's hilarious. Also, but now you know that Hungry Howie's exists, so. Okay, so I don't know actually what I'm doing here. I think I actually like this configuration. And see, the problem is, like, once I change it and then I win a match, I'm always like, okay, well, I don't know what to fix now because it did well. And actually, that that Tron match was nutso. Because of the Ghost Quarter, like, Azusa interaction, I kind of just want three and three and one again. Because Field of Ruin would be too expensive to do that. Maybe it's just four Ghost Quarters. Yeah, it's, we're going to do four Ghost Quarters. It's because of the expensive interaction. Like, you don't want to be able to... If you can just run out, like, Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, you don't want to actually have to pay for it. Oh my god, 26 lands, I shouldn't be getting no land hands. All right, I'll keep it. I accept. I'm gonna bottom this one, because I think we're good for the foreseeable future. Let's just do the traditional modern thing where you get an overgrown tomb. I wanna be able to maximize my, my greensies. 
or my yeah my green z's and my black z's because next turn we can go we can just get a forest at this then we'll have a bajuga bog what do you got here what do you got here ancestral vision yeah put that thing in the trash can fascinating Do you just get rid of Snapcaster Mage here? Like, I don't care about... Oh, Teferi? Come on. Don't be like that. You keep acting surprised when you get weird land, just accept the inevitable. Yeah, you know... You're not wrong. Brando, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Happy eight months in a row. God, time flies when you're having when you're having fun. This was your five, you played Flooded Strand. So let's let's see if you drew a counter spell. You did not. You did not. Wow, that was rude. That was rude. Okay, so you opted. You play planes. Well, we have Maelstrom Pulse for Teferi, which is nice, but we don't have much else going on. What are you doing here? Vendillion click? Oh, that's cute. They're like, I'll just not take anything. They're going to take Maelstrom Pulse for sure. Hm. All right. They took Fatal Push fascinating was not expecting that Are there any good cubes up right now? <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I think you guys might not know this, but Azusa by herself does not do anything right now. Well, they know we have the swamp, so there's no reason to like play around it. The most amazing draws I've seen from you were probably when you played Legacy Vintage Cube with Progenitus and Tooth and Nail. It felt like you did not play a game without drawing Progenitus. I think you mulled the five in one game up with Progenitus in both the seven and six, scrying away Progenitus from the top. That draft is one of the biggest reasons I'm a sub. Never stop with the yeah. Like it's funny that some of the some of the biggest moments are things I had literally no control over. Yet they seem to uh, magically happen to me. I don't understand it, but uh, here we are. Well, she's seeking. She's seeking. So it's she is lost, but she's seeking. She'll get there. Huh. All right. Not sure I understand it, but okay. I mean, I would have left the fatal push and kept the, and taken the maelstrom pulse. Like for one, like for for fatal push, like I would need a, a trigger to kill this. I 
I mean, they could just go land, attack us for seven, and they're probably just dead, right? I don't think it really matters at this point. Like, the, the, the problem is we can't fight all three of these in the position we're in, but I guess they don't want to attack even though they have no cards in hand. That's strange to me. That is not going to do it. The funny thing is we have four Ghost Quarters in the deck, and we actually didn't have an answer for uh, Colonnade. All right. So, Fatal Push doesn't seem great here. It does kill... Um, click, but not really that efficiently. I'm going to bring in Brutality, Brutality, Thought Seize, and probably Abrupt Decay. Or Maelstrom Pulse. I guess I could see Maelstrom Pulse, too. Yeah, I like Maelstrom Pulse a little bit better, actually. play first this hand seems pretty good this we're going to keep <laughs> oh my god we just got the lock dude <laughs> hold on we're watching this tron clip the lock Are you out of lands, my dude? <laughs> Multi five. Oh, turns out all you need is one ghost coder, a Ramyab excavator, and a Zusa. <laughs> That's good. That's a solid clip, guys. That is a solid clip. All right, so colonnades are down. I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Heartless Summoning here. Like, we know all you have is Path and three lands, and whatever one card you drew cannot be that great. <laughs> Asked about her balance, I pushed her over. Wow. Oh, a snappy boy and a pathy boy. Okay. Yeah, we're probably just going to pass here. I don't see a reason to play Azusa into the path. Unless, like, we want to just, like, force their path and, and draw a land and get a land. I'm actually... Here's the thing. I'm tempted to actually add... I think we just add, we take out one forest and one swamp, and we just add, um, take out one misty. And we add three black blue, so three polluted. Which gives us a lot more fetches, gives us two extra fetches. And then we have three black fetches, three green fetches, and four both color fetches. We want more lands in the graveyard so that when we hit something like Ramming Up Excavator, like, we don't actually feel like an idiot. I don't want to feel like an idiot. So I'm going to play you. Which one's actually more important? That's the question. In case they draw like removal. I think this one's less important. Like our odds of getting a bunch of lands. Without this... It doesn't really matter. So if we get one fetch lane, we can play it from the grave. We can play it, then play it from the graveyard, and it's it's good. But like without this guy, we're only we're not we're gonna play it once anyway. It doesn't matter. You don't have that access to that. Locking out Tron is the happiest I've seen you all week. Well, it is only Tuesday, buddy. So Where are the friggin' lands in this 26 land deck, my dudes? Alright, so they played Flooded Strand. <laughs> it's 
all week, Jim. You look like an idiot right now. Wow. You look like an idiot right now. So we know your last card's a hollowed fountain? That's pretty gas. Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess this is a one this is a one two, so it's a it's a clock, right? Oh biscuits. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, this has been suspended since God knows when. Oh, God. Favorite Mandy Moore song that isn't candy. Uh, uh, oh, it's your boy. Remember that time they had like one card and it was a hollow fountain and then they went back up to like seven cards? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I have no lands in my graveyard or in my hand and they're just going to counter this 100%. A thousand percent they drew a counter spell. A thousand they didn't draw a counter spell. There's a level of shock that I'm feeling right now that's immeasurable. Negative 1,000%. That seems accurate. Yeah, I can get behind that. I see. I want to be honest with you, I don't actually know how we recover from this. I feel like we might be in bad shape here. Hmm. I'm going to concede. Out of respect for you all. I'd like to see what I would draw, though. Yeah, that's not going to do it. That might have done it, but it's a little far. I proved a theory this afternoon I can't successfully watch your stream, watch an episode of The Simpsons, do my taxes, and eat Indian food all at the same time. I feel like I could have told you that. I feel like if you asked somebody, hey, do you think I could do all these things at the same time? Um, Shut up and take my money. I feel like I would have been able to have been like, yeah. One respect bug. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. We have a good time. All right, let's do one more, and then we'll see. We'll give some final thoughts here. Ten of a vindal is also already ten to forty nine. First time catching your stream. Wanted to get into that temperature conversation that went on during the last video. It's minus sixty two where I am. The cold is real. Oh my god, minus sixty two. That's not even real. I mean, you said it's real, so I believe you. But like, that's not like my mind can't even process that. Like, I don't. Let me see what. Let me see what it is here. I think it's like sixty here. Probably. I'm gonna say sixty. It's like sixty three. It's 61 right now, right? So you are 120 degrees lower. How do you even survive? How do you live? Oh, good. And the rematch. Actually, was this the Tron player or was this the... Yep, one land and 26 lands. I don't get it. I feel like outside of... Like, if you guys want to have decks critiqued... Um, and you want to have them critiqued and you want, you want good games played and you want dr lands drawn, probably don't send them to me. I mean, it's against my better judgment to, to recommend that because, you know, streaming is how I, I make my living. Um, however, you know, in all fairness to you guys, I want to be able to, uh, 
I want to make sure you guys get a good experience. And if you guys want to actually draw lands, I keep getting emails from Tesla. Wait, so you say a series of reaction videos. Do you mean you're going to make a video where you react to me getting one land? Because that doesn't seem exciting. Because it would just be like a video like, oh, there it is again. Oh, he got one land again. Oh, he did one land again. Like, that would be lazy. If you mean a reaction video where I'm reacting to it and you're, you're like putting them all together in a montage, that's kind of funny. That takes a lot of editorial work. And that would be, um, that would actually be a, a better video, I think. The first time they've had a counterspell. The first time. First time they've had a counterspell. I just want to be clear. Three games, first time. First counterspell we've seen. This is a lot of lands. The, the problem with a reaction video to me getting one land is like, if each, if each, like how long is each one? Like a third, like three seconds? I guess we didn't have to crack that, but Shut up and take my money. I like having them in the graveyard. Some I would have done this earlier, but I'm in the Coast Guard and wanted to wait until I got paid bucks. Mr. Crispy, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. <laughs> Those are some good bucks. Good bucks. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. And uh, hope you in the Coast Guard, you were all right, actually, with the shutdown and everything. Are you going to mana like this because you have no soul? Okay, you're going to path this guy. Got it. So we're just going to have a million lands. I got you. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we're done here. Sure. All right, well, at least we get to keep a Gitrog monster, am I right? There's no way they have Cryptic Command. So that's nice, at least. But Frank, why wouldn't they have Cryptic Command? Well, they do, which is the point I'm making, dear viewer. Let me choose my modes first. I'm going to click on the card. I'm going to scroll down to counter draw card. And then I'm going to...
Pendillion Click. Huh. Well, you took Fatal Push last time when I had Maelstrom Pulse in hand, so I imagine you're going to take it again. Ooh, that was actually nice. Okay, so now we have City's Blessing and we have two large beasts on the board. They're just going to top deck a Terminus. No, they didn't. Woo, we're doing it. We're living the dream. We're living the dream. Sure. We're running out of lands to get to a Tireless Tracker, though. This is all our basics and Overgrown, so all of our fetch lands are now dead, which is unfortunate. It's your boy. I mean, we're just trying to dodge a terminus, I think. Oh, mana leak this. Remand it to your hand. If you had a remand, I would have just remanded this guy. Jesus. Come on, man. It's okay. Four path to exiles. That's a normal amount in the game. God, I feel like we're so close to this game, too. And then, like, they just literally have it all. Yeah, this is actually my rent divided by three, so. They just block here, right? Take four. They're at ten, and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten power on board. No terminus. Terminus. I can't. Lucky, 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 lucky. Okay, we're trying. We're getting there. I mean, all things considered, we're drawing a surprising amount of threats here, which is nice. Um, <laughs> we have seven power on board. We get to draw a Gitrog monster. Could be good. We might want, actually, some Creechy Lands. I, I don't think Treetop Village is actually that bad here. This is, you're, these, these top decks are actually phenomenal. I don't want to use the ability because I want my Gitrog monster. I'm actually not going to crack these. They don't have any cards in hand, so I know the Thought Seize doesn't do anything. Bulrak Soup Slurper. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. 
Welcome, welcome. That is a fantastic name. I am quite proud. We're having a good time. All right, so I'm I'm tempted to keep these. Like, if they try to kill them, I can just crack three of them and draw three cards, which is pretty good. Otherwise, that we have lethal on board, so I don't really need to, like... We'd have to crack two to have any to see anything, right? We'd have to go crack one to get a thought seize, crack a second one to get the next card. Okay, they left the game, so we can it would have been fatal push rising game, sure. Wow, that was game was that game one? Yes it was. Wow. We won game one. Brutality, brutality. Surgicals could be good here. Thoughtsies. Surgical taking out like Path to Exile is pretty insane, actually. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, we're going to keep this hand because of Heartless Summoning. Two lands, I know, right? The rich get richer. Go Delta, we'll get an overgrown tomb and then we'll just play Heartless Summoning on turn two. God, Ancestral Vision is such a beating. We should draw Rift Sweeper just for that. We should have Rift Sweeper in our deck. that I think I like heartless something a little better though being able to just resolve this is nice unless they have like spell pierce or spell snare which they of course do I'm sure we have a second one we'll manage they did not all right we did good we did good Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So if we draw a land, that'd be great. Or if we draw like a Ramunap Excavator, that'd be great. Because then we can go Heartless Summoning into either one of these. So we're looking for Ramunap Excavators or lands. We could also just Maelstrom Pulse this, but I don't think we're there yet. Oh, that's your boy. Oh, I always crack it when I don't need to. Oh, I'm so bad. I always forget the Urborg exists. I want to play Azusa here because I'd rather have Azusa die than Wayward Swordtooth. Yeah, actually, Ramiap Excavator might be... It might be... It might need four of... We can probably cut one Azusa. You never want two Azusas, and it kind of does a similar thing. Yeah, we can. I think you want the maximum number of Excavators. And we also you have Swordtooth and Excavator to play from land or to play from hand or from graveyard. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, you're gonna click me. Seems good. This is actually great because if they take Brutality, we can play Gitrog Monster. If they take, um. Gitrog monster, we can just brutality and play Wayward Swordtooth. That seems okay. 
I wish I had a land we can discard it. That'd be great. Uh, cast with Escalate two modes. Neg two, neg two, reveal your hand. Let's make sure. I, it felt like I didn't click the Vendelian click and I did something else. So we'll go target opponent reveals their hand and neg two, neg two, cast. It'll be the opponent. It'll be the creature. Wow, your hand is Field of Ruin Island. All right. Well, our hand, our 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 board is. Oh, you're gonna draw like four cards this turn. Well, next turn, I guess. All right. Well, we get a turn. We get a reprieve. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Excavator. Excavator. How many, how many more lands do we get to play this turn? Oh, they just concede. They just concede because we get infinite lands. Then we can play Wayward Sword Tooth, get more lands. Wow, our deck is sweet. This deck is super cool. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I would add like one treetop village. I think one treetop is good. I don't think you want multiples, but I think it's... I think it's I think it's better than Bajuka Bog. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't love the Bajuka Bog. I think it's you can't search it out. Like it's not like you're playing Knight of the Reliquary. You just have to have a demise into it. Whereas like, I think just randomly hitting a treetop is gonna be better than randomly hitting Bajuka Bog. This would definitely. How do you, you don't get infinite? But I mean, like we get to play two extra from her, so it's three total. One extra from the Wayward Sword Tooth, so it's, we get to play four lands that turn. Not including like how many clues we get from the Tireless Tracker just sitting on board. I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good amount of inevitability. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. I'm actually a big fan of it. Um, on that note, I'm going to call it here, though, because I think we went like 3-2, which is pretty good. And um, we crushed Tron and we crushed Blue-White Control, which is pretty sweet. I think those are definitely rele relevant matchups to, to, be, to beat. And... Um, yeah, I like this deck a lot. I think I think this configuration is also really sweet. I think you definitely want to maximize the number of. Uh, what did we add? We added like we added like more of, of one of these guys, but we definitely maximized things here. Made sure there's four heartless summonings. I don't think you need like I think we've noticed that you don't need to show piece brawl. I'd rather just have more mana. Like you want more lands because these are all land centric, and you also want lands that you can play from the graveyard, like like fetch lands basically. Um, also, Ghost Quarter. The combo is like a Ghost Quarter, Ramunap Excavator, and any any one of like Azusa or Wayward Sword Tooth. So you can just kill two or three lands a turn, um, which is pretty sweet. Also, the Assassin's Trophy, definitely a relevant addition. Uh, I like the sideboard better like this because Surgical Extraction, obviously great when you have four Ghost Quarters in the main. You can just kill Tron right out of the gates. Uh, same thing with Control. Like you have five discard spells and you go up to eight discard spells if you want to. Two Damnations are good. I think the Retreats are probably good against Burn. Because if you just play one on turn three, then all your lands are going to give you, like, two triggers. So you gain, like, three life per, per fetch land. So, not bad. Uh, any thoughts to add cycling lands? Are there cycling lands in modern? Like, the ones that cost two? No, not really. Like, they're just, they're just too expensive. Like, you don't want to be off you don't want to be off curve that much. If they were, like, one mana from, um... From Onslaught? Or not Onslaught, um... Is it Onslaught? Yeah, I think it's Onslaught. Yeah, no, the Desert's just probably bad. Like, it's probably too expensive. Like, you don't want to pay two mana for a Cycling, and then it comes in and play Tapped. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to have your own decks critiqued by me, I would love to do it. You can check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Links are in the description below. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Those links are in the description as well. And you can check me out at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. You can't check me out there, I guess. But you can support the channel by going to MeUndies.com, getting some of the softest micromodal cotton underwear or onesies, socks, whatever you guys need. And uh, you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And their customer service is 
impeccable. So be sure to check that out. If you guys need that anyway, it's a great way to support the stream. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.